the biggest differences between Brock Purdy and Jimmy. Now, like, we've been watching the games, so for us, like, the eye test is obvious. Like, you don't even have to talk about it. But people that don't watch it as much, like, you know, Colin Cowherd or national people, they'll just pull up the stats. And it's kind of amazing when you look at it this way. Uh, completion percentage, Jimmy Garoppolo, 67.2. Brock Purdy, 67.1. Uh, touchdown interception ratio: Jimmy Garoppolo sixteen to four, Brock Purdy thirteen to four. <laughs> Quarterback rating: uh, Garoppolo one hundred three, Brock Purdy one hundred seven. I mean, way more, way closer than I would expect, given that yeah. the Niners are scoring way more points with Brock Purdy, and just watching him is so much more fun. So, what do you make of that statistical anomaly? I don't know. Yeah, I was diving into it uh, this morning pretty deep. You know, so there's two things that are going on that are different. Brock Purdy has a higher uh, touchdown. What's the, what's the word? He, he scores touchdowns more often. His touchdown percentage. Yeah. Yeah. Than than Jimmy Garoppolo, but he's also not that he has a lot, but he has higher interceptions than Jimmy Garoppolo this year. Uh, yeah. I thought both of those things were, um, you know, surprising. The, the biggest difference, I mean, everything is the exact same thing. Damn near. The biggest mm-hmm. difference is Brock Purdy is scoring touchdowns. Um, and a lot of that, I think, might have to do with this defense. Uh, I was looking at the the statistics comparing the defense this year versus last year. And the 49ers lead the NFL in takeaways. Uh, and it's a, a big, huge difference compared to last year. Over the last three games, um, I believe, let's see what uh, I have it posted on my, my Twitter here. But um, over the last three games, there's been – situations where where is it where is it sorry guys where the hell is it over the last three games um turnovers have led to 29 points um and if you include turnovers on down it's 40. so the 49ers defense is doing a great job of getting takeaways um and the 49ers are capitalizing on it that has a lot to do with it but as far as the differences between the two i think the real biggest difference is the red zone uh, and the poise that Brock Purdy has in the pocket in order to uh, stay calm, go through his progressions and find his guys in the red zone where Jimmy wasn't able to do that. Uh, you know, and he's obviously more mobile, able to avoid sacks and pressure better than Jimmy was. Um, but from an arm standpoint, very similar. And then if you look at something that I thought was going on, that ended up not being true is I thought Brock Purdy was better with the deep ball. Uh, and then if you look at the numbers, they're identical. Brock Purdy's, attempts and completion percentage over 15 yards and jimmy garoppolo's are essentially identical yeah but if you move that back to like 30 yards what would it be <laughs> it wouldn't be identical yeah i mean i haven't seen you that i'm saying because jimmy that. jimmy lives in that 10 to 20 yard range he's yeah. great there and maybe mm-hmm. better than brock sorry not to not to uh jump in there no but i mean i think you know even if just been watching the offense the last at least the <clears> last <throat> couple weeks brock purdy has been really kind of the check down guy Honestly, a lot of his, his numbers are coming from checkdowns, short passes. Uh, CMC is able to take it and run with it. Uh, and then just red zone, capitalizing in the red zone. Uh, I don't see huge differences between them statistically outside of red zone. Red zone numbers are the biggest difference to me. Um, one thing that's actually interesting, though, is that like, so Jimmy Garoppolo, hold on, let me, let me find him. Where were you at? Uh, boom. All right. <clears throat> he had eight touchdown passes. Uh, from inside the 10, he had four, he had four, eight from beyond. So he really mostly needed to get very close to the end zone to score. Brock Purdy has six from inside the 10, but he has 13 from outside the 10. So it seems to me like it's not a fluke that the Niners are scoring, scoring more points on offense with Brock Purdy. Now, some of it might be turnovers from the defense, but a lot of it is the fact that the Niners don't have to get to the freaking seven-yard line anymore to score a touchdown. And it seemed like what, what Jimmy would do, a, a big reason that he's only on pace to throw 24 touchdown passes this year where Brock Purdy's on pace to throw like 37, is that Jimmy would have to move the ball, move the ball, move the ball, get inside the 10, and then when you're when the Niners are that close to the end zone, they're just going to run the ball in anyway. Yeah. So he just he just wouldn't score as much or have as many opportunities. Brock Purdy scoring from further out. Maybe he's getting lucky. Maybe these screens are, are going for more. But all of a sudden, it seems like the Niners have more of a quick strike offense with Brock than with Jimmy. But real quick, people could say, you know, whatever, I test, statistics say that they're the same quarterback. Fine. We're all talking about regular season stuff right now. Regular season stats. Right. And what we know about Jimmy is that doesn't matter. 
When mm-hmm. it all matters with Jimmy was how he was going to play in the in the playoffs. He had two runs. He didn't do well. He fell yeah. apart statistically. Mm-hmm. Is Brock going to fall apart statistically? Are, are they that similar that he's going to have the same fate, or is Brock going to be able to keep it up? Because if he can, then that'll show you a big difference right there. Yeah, I mean, that's the big question, right? Because Jimmy Garoppolo's regular season stats compared to his playoff stats are not – the same. He's a different quarterback in the postseason for whatever reason. Now, Brock Purdy has shown he's poised and calm and, and as a quarterback. So maybe that'll translate into the playoffs. I don't see this guy getting being different in the playoffs. The only thing that is going to be different is his opponents are going to be better in general. That's the thing. He's going to face tougher That's defenses the thing. and better offense. Yeah. Yeah. And like he's going to face way better defenses and they're going to be way more prepared for him. And I think it's fa- that's what happened to Jimmy. Like Jimmy would be doing great, and all of a sudden teams would really lock in with good defenses and be like, "Oh, this is what he does. This is what he doesn't do. Oh, okay, well, we got this." And it was night and day. Uh, I I think it's fair to point out that you know Brock's killing it right now, and the offense is killing it right now. But tell me the great defense they've faced so far in the last six games. Yeah, Miami, no, no. Uh, Tampa, they had a ton of a ton of injuries. Washington, no. Uh, Seattle. Seattle's actually had a good defense recently, and they mm-hmm. held them to 21 points. So maybe that one. And then what? what was, who did they play? Oh, yeah, Arizona? No. Raiders? No. So no. at a certain point, I don't yeah. know when that point's going to happen. The Niners are going to face a really good defense. What's Brock going to look like against that? Yeah. And, you know, not that either one of them have done a really bad job with throwing interceptions this year, but Brock Purdy's interception rate is actually higher, higher than Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. And that, that's kind of a, that's a little concerning going into the playoffs, playing these good defenses, um, you know, but it's been OK because his touchdown rate, uh, his touchdown percentage is higher. So, it, you know, it, it's equaled out. Um, but we'll see. I mean, a lot of this, I really think I was looking at all the statistics for the 49ers uh, this year versus last year. You know, it's some things that surprise me. The Niners had more passing yards last year. The Niners only had 200 yards more rushing. This year, uh, they had two more rushing touchdowns last year. They only had four more passing touchdowns this year. The biggest, again, the biggest statistical difference between this team this year and last year is the giveaway takeaway. The Niners are plus 16 this year. Last year, they were plus four. So the def- defense has 20 interceptions this year versus last year. They had nine. And I think that's put the offense in really good situations. One more thing before we move on. The thing with Brock also, like, we're doing a statistical comparison. Stats lie a lot, especially in football, where there's, like, four or five games you're comparing in small sample sizes. And I think it's important to point out that with Brock, he did have that mop-up appearance against Kansas City where the game was over. They were down big. He's playing with backups. And he threw a pick. He was four for nine, 66 yards and a pick. Okay, that happened. But if you take that away, because since then he's been playing as a starter with the starters against starters. If you take that away, his interception percentage is 1.8. You know, mm-hmm. what I'm his quarterback rating is 112. Like, he is actually better than Jimmy mm-hmm. Garoppolo, but it's six games. It's six games, and Jimmy was playing well, too. Jimmy was at 1.3 for his uh, interception percentage. It's nice having more touchdowns. Let's see if it translates to the playoffs. I just think it's hard to take away things because then you have to also, you know, you have to put into play how many interceptions were dropped by – defensive backs during the season for Brock. So, right. So it's hard to take away things for me. I just like to look at the whole scope and it is what it is, because if you start doing that, then you got to, okay, well, multiple interceptions were dropped. And I, the Jawan Jennings uh, dropped, they turned into an interception. That's really not Brock's fault, but Jimmy's had those things as well. So I think just when you have a big body of work, it kind of shows you everything. The reason I would say that one, I would take away is it felt like, an unnatural circumstance. I mean, the game was over and he was playing with backups. So yeah, yeah, I mean, you could hold it against him, but it's not like any circumstance he's faced since or will face in the playoffs. Well, he definitely doesn't make me feel nervous like Jimmy did. So whatever, I mean, statistics aside, I feel more calm when Brock Purdy is passing the ball than I did with Jimmy. So that that's got to tell you something. I mean, the eye test is a lot of this, you know, that kind of throws a lot of these statistics out of the way. What we're seeing with Brock is a more calm quarterback who's going through his progressions. And uh, you know, that's, a much better thing to have than Jimmy Garoppolo going into the postseason. Every time he threw it, it used to make me nervous. Also, we talk stats like Jimmy Garoppolo supporters. The only stat they would ever point to was win, win loss record. Yeah, and yeah, he was seven and three this year. Brock's five and zero, oh. and yeah. you know Jimmy lost games that he shouldn't have lost. And yeah, he had excuses and whatever. You know, um, 
he was rusty or whatever. Like he lost to Denver. Brock Purdy's a rookie. He was rusty. Yeah. I mean, like Brock Purdy has is inexperienced and he hasn't lost yet. I I think it's it's fair to wonder would Brock have lost to Denver? Would Brock have lost to Atlanta? Would Jimmy Garoppolo have beaten Miami if he had stayed healthy? Would he beaten Washington? Would he have beaten the Raiders? I I think the Niners are winning games right now yeah. that Jimmy Garoppolo not wouldn't necessarily have won, and that's I guess the eye test too. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably true, man. I don't know about the Raiders. I don't I don't know if Jimmy would have won that Raiders game. As far as Denver is concerned, that's one of the best defense the 49ers have faced um, all season. And so that's he a little – He stepped out telling. of the back of the end zone, though. Yeah. yeah. But if he didn't do that, he would have threw an interception, right? Pick I know. So that I kind know. of helped him, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. This is a mess.